so the first time I heard from DCF, I, I was like, I thought it might have been a misunderstanding. And my instinct originally, at first, I was like, I'll just tell them uh, what's what what, what they want to know. I'll just talk to them. So so I actually did talk to DCF a little bit in the beginning, but I actually regret that because um, I felt that what I told them was was twisted and a little bit misrepresented. So uh, when I started getting some feedback from them, I immediately thought this wasn't going well. So I, I contacted an uh, uh, attorney, Siever. What seemed to be innocent comments, uh, DCF uh, uses that and um, tries to drive a wedge and, and create a, um, a, a contradicting argument uh, try to. They, I felt like they tried to divide me against my wife, and uh, I'll tell. And I'll tell you, um, it, it it just goes from bad to worse so quickly. I realized when I met Attorney Siever right away that he was the street fighter, and uh, he was the guy that I needed. And you got to go in with an iron fist and a velvet glove. And Attorney Siever is a is that's what Attorney Siever is. He's an iron fist and a velvet glove. He's very pleasant and calm. But, but he knows that when people need to be represented, he provides that representation that is needed. So uh, I hope I never have another involvement with DCF. It's the worst feeling I've ever gone through in my life. But I'll tell you right now, if I, if I could do things again, uh, the, the, the first thing I would do is say nothing. And the second thing I would do is call attorney Stever and get yourself um, protected, protect yourself. It, you might think that it's the most innocent thing, and I'm gonna tell you something, it's gonna be the best money you ever spent. If you think you're going to represent yourself, you're, you're gambling with yourself, you're gambling with your family, and most importantly, you're gambling with your children and the separation of your children from your family. And that's another, that's a snare you don't wanna get caught up in. And um, don't, don't take that risk. 